Hello Stormwater Designers, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos. It's another quick start video for one of our Clear Creek Solutions software packages. And today we're going to be taking a look at the California hydrology model, where to get it, how to uh, download it, get it installed, and we'll do a quick start of that software package. So the first thing you want to do is open your browser. Let's go to clearcreeksolutions.info. And um, the California hydrology model is not in the downloads page because it is for purchase. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to products, go to California hydrology model. And this is where you can then purchase it here. It's got some of the features listed. Uh, if you already have a purchase, you can download it, of course. And then we have some of the different uh, county data here that then you can download. So if you wanted to purchase it, you're going to want to click here. And that'll take you to our purchase. Uh, portal over here you can uh, you can buy the California hydrology model here and then um, it's got some details and some information on it add that to cart you can purchase it it's just a, a straight up purchase um, and then you should get some form of an activation code that should go come through your email that when you open it up you should be able to activate the software however if you already have a purchase and you're just looking to download you can click the download button here and that'll begin the download process for uh for the software here and you're going to want to make sure that you can uh keep it there so those are some of the ways to download it i already have it so i do not need it but uh, you can download it there purchase it from that site and download some of the all maps files here for the different counties that you want to work in just uh, a quick reminder it requires activation to unlock all the features and edit the project settings so if i go to my desktop here and i open up the california hydrology model it's right here under cam I'm going to open it up, it says select default purse file. This file contains all the soil parameter values for all land use types. And so I'm going to select use current default uh, PERS here. So I'm going to select, and now I'm going to open up the software. If you haven't activated yet, when you go to click on the map or anywhere in the schematic, it's going to ask you to then activate the software. I have already activated it here. So to get started, you're going to want to select uh, your county. So I have Imperial County selected. You want to select where your project location is, and then these are the different rain gauges. We have the El Centro, we have Imperial here, and Brawley for this specific setup. For the map controls, we can zoom in by hitting the plus button and zoom out by hitting the minus button. You can also navigate up and down with these arrows here and zoom back to the extents with this button. So now we have our project location set up, we can begin running the model here. Another quick note too is the CAM help file is also available for you to look at. So if you need some help using the software here, outside of maybe our structural material, uh, the help file is very useful. Now if we go to the schematic, we have a pre-developed and we have a mitigated scenario here. Let's just start building out a very, very quick model. So in the pre-developed scenario, to add an element, you're going to want to left click the element you want to add. This is a land use basin. This is the bread and butter when it comes to using our software packages here. Left click, let's add the land use basin. You can see all the different soil types that are available to you when you begin using the software. Um, and then it also has a slope listed next to it. So it has 0 to 5%, 5 to 10, 10 to 20, and then greater than 20% slope. All a, B, all the way up to C, D soils. For example, let's say I want to select C, D forest. I would click right next to the box here. Let's say I want to add four acres, just type in four. And now you have four acres of C, D forest flat with 0 to 5% slope in your project. If you want to change the subbasin name, just left click the subbasin name box here. You could change it to land use one if you'd like. You can name it anything you want. Now, just to run the data for the pre developed, we're going to right click on the element, select connect to point of compliance. This is our point of analysis here. And we have our surface flow and inner flow routed to it. Connect and now run the scenario. This will generate the runoff for the pre developed scenario. You could do the same thing in the mitigated and then add your mitigation facilities to begin modeling. So just a quick overview, we downloaded from the Clear Creek Solutions site. You may need to purchase it. We select our location on the map here. You can get help from the CAM help file and then go into the schematic to begin building your model. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment down below. And thank you for watching and we will see you guys next time.